you know, Cannell has his way of working and Bosco's way is different. They're a lot in common in that they say very little to you, but what they say just is perfect road signs, perfect arrows, go this way, go that way. I never read a script. I went to CVS Studio Center, I saw the picture, the entire picture, and I was just, my mouth was open. The last scene when Renko and Hill get shot and it, and it goes into slow motion, it looks like this ballet of death thing, and I mean, I just, I was, I was, I'd never seen a TV show like that. I was just blown away. So we went back up to Bochco's office and we all sat down, everybody's, they're kind of all just talking, you know? And I, I said to Mike, I said, I, I don't know what the music for this thing should be. You know, what you'd normally do is, is something kind of funky and streety, sort of like Toma, you know, something really down and dirty. And Hoblet said, you know, what I'm thinking about is a door on a garage and then it comes open, a car comes out, just bombed out, mean streets, snowing and just really, you know, you know, desolate, you know, in the inner city. Bosco said, what else could you do? I said, well, you could go against it. You could write something really kind of poignant, but not sloppy sentimental, just kind of like, you nod your head and go, man, there's going to be somebody born, there's going to be somebody die, there's going to be a whole lot of stuff going to go down in this 42 minutes, but, but the clock's going to keep ticking, you know. He goes, why don't you try that? It's okay. And part of Mike's genius, I think, is in translating my non-musical uh, uh, input into musical terms. Sat down to piano. I was immediately in E flat. I don't know why. I just went. I messed around with it for 30 minutes. I called Bosco and said, "Hey, yeah." I said, "I got some." He goes, "Well, look, I don't want something you pulled out of a trunk." I said, "No, no. I just wrote it." So I'll be right over. He said, you know, come on over here. I think I got something. I want, I want to play something for you. So I went over there, and he sat down at his piano, and he played the Hill Street Blues theme. That was it. He went, yeah, do that. I said, do that? He said, do that. Exactly that. Do that. I said, okay, bye. And then he wanted to muck it up with more orchestration stuff, and I kept saying, no, just the piano, that's all I want to hear. I mean, it's just such a, an, a, an extraordinary and evocative piece of music. And I knew I'd, you know, you know when you when you've connect, you know. Uh, I didn't know it was going to be a hit record or Grammys or any of that, but, but I, I knew it was a pretty good piece of music, and I knew that it would go really good with the film. And, of course, that thing just, you know jumped off the screen, basically. <laughs>